So finally finished the hedgehog. I don't know what to call him. I think I might call him Horace. I think he looks like a Horace. So um, just to show you where all the spines fit. So I've gone right up to the top there between his ears. Um, and then I've kind of come back a little bit behind his ears there. Gone down the side. Under there. Covered up his bottom because I didn't think that was terribly attractive. And then back up the side there just so you can show it, see where they all are. But um, if you pull all those hair down, you can cover up those sides and it saves you all of that um, spine attachment time. Um, it, it does, it's a bit time consuming. So that's him finished. Um, now I just need to give him a haircut. Um, I think this is the most fun part, but the most scary because you can make it go really wrong. Um, but just grab your scissors and just snip off like the really obvious bits that are not looking good. There's just a few bits at the back here that I'll attach and just kind of line them up with the rest of them. Maybe a bit where you can see. I probably won't do too many actually. But that piece of art you can ruin it by keep going. So that will probably do him. He looks good, a bit scruffy. And I like the little long bits because you can kind of fashion them. And then if you do find that he's a little bit uniform, a bit like a sort of microphone appearance, then snip into his hair, so don't sort of cut across it, snip down like you're cutting a fringe, so just kind of snip here and there just to take little bits off and just make it a little bit uneven if you want to do that, but oh, I think he's looking good. So that's Horace, um, and make sure you just keep all your little bits of thread and use them for stuffing for your next project. Um, next, I'm going to be making a B. So we will be doing colour changes in that direction. So you'll do a few rounds and then you'll colour change. And then after that, I fancy doing a badger. So we'll be doing colour changes the other way. So you'll do a few stitches and then you'll colour change and you'll do a few more. So those are my next projects that I've got lined up. Um, so let me know what you think and I'll try and get those done.